just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I made it into work and so what I'm going to try to do is go in as early as I'm able to clock in and prepare for the next day. That way I won't have to take home so many things, so many homework to grade and stuff like that because you guys, I have been so exhausted at night. I literally fell asleep like around 7.30 last night and was out the rest of the night, like the rest of the night. So yeah, that's what I am here for. I'm gonna go in in like four minutes because I can clock in you know, without getting in trouble um, at about 20 minutes or 15 minutes until my um, schedule time. So yeah, you guys, I'm so exhausted. I gotta find some kind of balance. I see all the other instructors not bringing anything home and I'm like, I wanna be like them, but I gotta get there. So I need to find ways that I can balance everything that way I can do what I need to do here and not have to take everything home so yeah so class is about to start I'm just doing a few things before the students come in and I always start vlogging like three minutes before they get ready to come in anybody can walk by and see me talking to myself right now so all right you guys it's Friday I'm at work and you know what that means another vlog day fail um, of course I was exhausted when I got home on Wednesday and I just did not pick up the camera and yesterday was Bible study and I get off early you guys so I have time to do what I need to do but I don't know my mind is constantly going because I'm trying to prepare for the next day and make sure everything's okay with the students as far as what the students need but on a happy note I only have to bring this home every day this has their homework in it and then my um, lesson plan and then the iPad that I have. I'm looking around because one of the instructors just got here and probably wondering why I'm talking to myself. But it's okay. It's okay. So anyway guys, I'm going to go in out here early again today. That way I can start preparing. Good morning it is Saturday now you know why I chose the cup I woke up like this because I woke up like this it is very early I should actually be asleep let me show you how early it is to me it's early 727 I dropped Savannah off to work at 7 well a little bit before 7 she gets off at 12 yeah and I came home and started straightening up the house is already clean so I don't have to really clean clean so just did a little straightening up and I'm still awake I should just go back to bed and yes I went drop her off just like this no one seen me <laughs> and I told her I said when I pick you up um, I'll look a whole lot prettier at least I'll have my hair on so yeah so I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee and I am catching up on what's the show a handmaid's tale Boston has a he's looking at me because I called his name he has a grooming appointment today and that's about it. So just another boring Saturday, but you guys will get a full vlog day. Look who just lays there when Savannah's not here. Yeah, when Savannah's not here, I'm his best friend. But the minute Savannah walks in the door, it's like, bye lady. One of my mirrors fell um, the other day and I just forgot to put it back up. One of these fell before and then I put command strips on it and 
it's still up there. I don't think it's this one that fell, but I'm going to put some command strips on it so it could stay up because this is clearly not working. So I did find some. I had some here at the house, so I'm going to put this up now. So I don't know if you guys remember these bar stools that I bought from a co-worker um, a couple of years ago. She was moving into a new house and totally changing the style of her home. And she actually sold these to me for $80 for all three. She bought them at Ikea and I guarantee you they were about $80 to $90 a piece. So she gave me a really good deal. So I'm still loving them, but I'm showing you guys this because, okay, you know, when you buy used stuff, you take it as is, whatever. And she was pretty clean and whatnot, but see the stain? So it had always had the stain in it, and no matter what I do, I can't get the stain out. I've tried so many different things. And now, for some reason, or somehow, bleach got on this one right here. So I actually want to go to Ikea today to see if I can get three new chair covers, or maybe only two. But no, if I get two, it'll look newer than this one. This one's not too bad, but I don't know. Maybe I'll see. I'll see if I can get three new chair covers today at Ikea. And the picture is back up, or the mirror. So I've been here long enough. I guess it's time I go get presentable. <laughs> Look who's sleeping behind the couch. Hey, yeah, I'm talking about you. He always finds a little spot here where he goes behind the couch here since he can't sit on the couch anymore. All right, much better. Now I don't look like someone's mom. Wait, I am someone's mom. That's not what I meant. I'm about to make some breakfast. I have not eaten yet. You guys, I am so like kiddish when it comes to breakfast cereal sometime because a lot of times I like the same thing the kids do. And when they get all these weird and different kinds, I'll try them, but you know, like the one that they had last time, like the cotton candy, um, I don't know, it was, it was the Fruit Loops, birthday cake, but I don't know, something like that I didn't like. But Savannah got Halloween Captain Crunch, and she's like, ooh, mom, it turns the milk green. And I'm all getting excited, so I'm gonna try that today. But anyway, I don't know if I told you guys that Boston is afraid of the broom. If I told you guys this before, I apologize if you have to hear this story again. So the people who own him, the older couple, I don't think it came from them because they had Boston and his brother since they were born. So, I think it came from when he was, him and his brother was put outside when the older couple husband gave Austin and his brother away. So every time I pull out the vacuum cleaner, I mean he doesn't like it, but he'll like move out the way. But the minute I bring the broom out, I mean he stops whatever he's doing and he takes off running. And I'm like, I'm not going to hit you with this. And I feel so bad because he's afraid of it. And I want to show you guys, but I don't want to scare him, so if I'm actually sweeping one day and he's out i will show you guys his reaction i don't want to just scare him for no reason because i would never hit him with the broom i would never hit him so yeah you guys i think he's traumatized by whoever he was with and every time i bring out the broom he takes off running and any one of us we start sweeping and he's gone um <laughs> when we had cody cody was afraid of the vacuum cleaner not the broom and leo leo was like Oh, you want me to move out the way while you sweep? <laughs> so none of our dogs have been scared of the brooms. All right, so Halloween crunch. Let's see ghosts turn milk green. Don't judge me. Yeah, I already told you guys that I'm kiddish sometime when it comes to cereal. This is what it looks like, and I'm going to pour the milk in. So let's see if it does it right away or after it sits for a little bit. I'll try to do this and not spill with one hand. Uh, I can tell it's already starting to turn it green a little bit. Okay, I should not be excited about this. This is something a 10 year old is excited about. But no, me and Savannah were like, ooh, I can't wait to try this. So we are at Ikea and we already dropped Boston off to the groomers. He was so nervous, but I didn't think about pulling out the camera because he was so nervous and shaking, so. Okay. 
and Savannah's with me. Say hi, Savannah. Hi. And here's our room we always take a picture in, but the other two are not here today. I know. Hi, Savannah. Are you gonna cook for us? Oh, Savannah, look, look. <laughs> a kid bit off of it, just I like, like this bowl. Okay, look, show them this. So I guess a kid bit off of it, just like Savannah did to mine when she was younger. Looks like it's cold. Mm, it's okay. I wouldn't want it. Yeah, someone probably got. But they kept on biting, though. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> so I think I found the chair covers, but these are all completely white. The ones I have at home are cream color or beige, and I don't see the ones here for my bar stool. This is the bar stool that I have. So there's a floral printed one that I do not think is very cute at all. And there's a light gray, which my kitchen is not light gray, so We'll see you guys. I don't know. I want to get the white one because it's nice, but I'm telling you, man, my kids, mainly that one, it's going to mess it up. Can't have nothing with kids. Here he comes. Oh, Wait, is that him? <laughs> hey, Boston. You're so skinny. You're like a little rat. Hey. 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 He did really well, you guys. So his report card says, he was perfect for everything. I loved working with him. He got nervous every now and then, but he would calm down when I held his hand. Can't wait to groom him again. And Savannah seen him and said, I forgot how ugly he was. He looks better with more hair. He does look better with more hair. Ooh, look a little rat bossing. He does look a little rat. At first I was like, are you sure? I know, this I'm like, is that our dog? <laughs> Savannah's so mean. She said she can't look at him because he's so mm, ugly. I just, just. <laughs> and we decided to get him cut all the way down and not get the standard, um, what, what is he, Spaniel Cocker cut. Spaniel cut because he was a little mad at. Why he looked like this. Yeah. So next time we um, take him there, he can get the Cocker Spaniel cut. So you guys, we got Aladdin. Even though we've seen it, we loved it. So we got that on DVD. And at Ikea, I did get the chair covers. I haven't put them on yet. But we got two mats for when you wash dishes. And they were $1.99 each, so we just got two. So we have a family group text going. Savannah sent um, Tariq and Cheyenne pictures of Boston. And I'm gonna let you guys know a few things they were going back and forth. Savannah said, y'all, I'm about to send this thing back. This is not Boston. Diane said, ew, what is that? Tariq said, ew, return it. He keeps looking at me. Did you get a receipt? I'm uncomfortable. Whose dog is that? Not mine. Did you bring home a stray? I'm sure it is not Boston at all. I bet he's mad. Y'all, my kids are crazy. Tariq said, did you even ask him what kind of cut he wants? Cheyenne said, for real, did y'all get his consent? Put away. They so mean to him. Boston is not happy right now. I don't think he's happy with this. He's going around. I don't think he knows how to act. And yeah, he's being really weird right now. But I'm cooking dinner. <clears throat> I'm making okra, fried chicken, and I'm going to make banana pudding. Oh. Mm -hmm. So banana pudding before the pudding. <laughs> I am cooking the pudding right now. You just little. Look at you. Say hi everybody. Say I look different. He got the shortest cut possible. I think I told you guys that. It's late. It's after dinner. Oh, hey Boston. Hey boy. Y'all, this is my baby. <laughs> I'm laughing because how the kids kept saying he's so ugly. Okay, but I love him. From Boston. From Boston. Hey, you want me to keep going, huh? Yes, you do. Y'all seen that? And this is how we started our day, you guys. Just like this. Anyway, I'm so tired. So we had dinner, and then, which was really good. I should have showed you guys. We sat here and watched um, Harry Potter. We're on the Harry Potter kick right now. 
so that's all we've been doing but i'm gonna end it right here thank you guys so so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video